like shiny things. I'm waking up to ash and dust. I wet my brow and I still wet my eyes. I'm breathing in the chemicals. I'm breaking in, shaping up, and checking out on the prison bus. This is it, the apocalypse. Oh, I'm waking up. I feel it in my bones. Enough to make my systems grow. Welcome to the new age. To the new age. Welcome to the new age. To the new age. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm radioactive, radioactive. Whoa. Nice uh, 26 foot class C, or otherwise called class B plus for marketing, but it's still just a class C. Still nice. Those are X rentals, Canadream, uh, canadream.ca. You can buy those units, uh, fairly well priced. Um, um, they're used for rentals for a few years and then uh, they're reconditioned, refurbished, and then sold off at pretty good prices. Oh, look, and there's another Canadream. Class C though, full Class C with the full overhead bed. Guess he's checking in at the office to pay his $65 for a night here. <laughs> See ya. There, in the outside parking lot, there's some guy on a road trek. Perfect. <laughs> Uh, and there's the other X rental, uh, CruiseCanada.com. Also getting some good deals with Cruise Canada. They uh, have X rental, Class C's, Class B's, true Class B's, and uh, B B plus. Hey, so I just wanted to uh, give a special shout out to everybody on my Facebook page, um, facebook.com forward slash Just Incredible TV can find me on there easily. Um, those of you that follow me there know that I post daily on there, sometimes more than once a day. Mostly RV van stuff. Um, I also post up uh, deals that I find on the internet and that other people find and send to me uh, for uh, nice rigs of all types. And uh, I just wanted to give you all a shout out because I'm uh, almost at 2,000 likes on that page, so that's pretty awesome. Thanks everyone. And. Um, I just also wanted to point out the messaging, okay? It, it takes, I've gone over this before, but I try to respond to relevant YouTube messages and Facebook messages when I can. Sometimes it'll take me a week or two to get to messages though. It's the nature of the beast, right? I mean, let's be honest, YouTube is a video hosting platform, all right? Comments and messages are optional. And uh, I didn't sign up to uh, sit in front of my computer all day to answer everybody and everything. I'm uh, doing it more as a document uh, to document uh, what I'm doing with the RV since I should have been doing this a long time ago with all the other RVs. Now, I've had a couple of messages, mo all, most of you are awesome, but I've had a couple of messages from people that are really impatient. They think that uh, if I don't respond within 24 hours that I'm a jerk and all this and that. And it's like, wait a second. Who said I had to respond to you at all, buddy? Okay, so let, let's... And if you're gonna start getting mad at me because I don't... Re, I didn't even see your message until about six days after you sent it. So first of all, I'm not gonna respond to you within 24 hours. Second of all, I don't have time to sit there and answer people's RV questions, questions about rigs, questions about is this a good deal, is that a good deal? I mean, geez, I don't have time. Listen, you've got to understand too that this is not my primary business. This is more just for fun, okay? My primary Facebook page is for Wham Bam Promotions, the Wham Bam Babes. All right, I've almost got 2,000 people on, on the page for this channel alone. Um, but I have almost 14,000 people on the Wham Bam Babes page and that's my actual business not RV life not van stuff not living in my RV all right this is secondary so it takes a back seat to everything else um, and 
even that page, man, I'm way behind. I'm about a month behind on messages and stuff like that. But I'm trying to live my day-to-day -day life too. And if I were to answer every message that came in, and I mean, I'm, I, I might as well be charging money to be uh, some sort of um, RV expert on, on teaching people about how fridges work and opinions on this and that. But I mean, for the most part, it's like, guys, learn how to use Google before you ask me questions. Some of the questions I get are just uh, unbelievable. Like, let me Google that for you. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you don't need to ask me some of these uh, uh, some of these specific questions. It's quite funny, but I'm not saying all of you, just a few of you. And it's like, really, you expect me to go out of my way to answer that? I'm sorry, but no. So if you don't get a response from me, within a week or two, it's probably because it's a question you could have Googled instead of going to the trouble of asking me and then waiting two weeks for a response. <laughs> but um, if it's something that relates to me specifically, to my channel specifically, not just some broad motorhome question, then, then I'm probably more likely to answer you. But if it's something about RVs, I'm just a guy living in my van. Okay, I don't have time to answer all your questions, but if I did answer everybody's questions and responded to everybody's comments, uh, I would not get anything done. I wouldn't even have time to go eat. Like I would be in front of my computer all day and not living my life. So you've got to understand that too, is the, the bigger the Facebook page gets, the bigger the YouTube channel gets, less and less I'm going to be able to answer. Now I understand that, uh, I mean, th this is a good reason to, to shut off uh, YouTube comments. And I'm not going to dwell on other people on YouTube, but there's a lot of channels that have their comments shut off not for all videos sometimes but sometimes their entire channel and I understand that because they're using YouTube to upload their videos the the the, the comments and and uh, messages and all the rest of that are completely irrelevant to what they're using YouTube for there's lots of video hosting sites and YouTube is just one of them if you want to upload your videos now uh, and a lot of people just upload videos and embed them on their own sites anyways so they use their own comments on their own site and some people use Facebook for that. You know, we could name somebody pretty big in the RV community who does that. And you know what, he went and turned his comments back on and some people started uh, complaining, saying no, they prefer they just have the comments on Facebook. So, you know, teach their own. I don't think it's necessary, that's for sure. Uh, but I'll leave them on, uh, but it doesn't mean that I'm gonna be able to respond to everybody. So you just gotta understand that, don't take it personally. Some people really take it personally if you don't answer them. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I messaged you 10 minutes ago, why aren't you answering me? How, how can you disrespect me, one of your loyal subscribers? Well, I'm sorry, but if you click the subscribe button on a YouTube channel, that doesn't mean that you're son suddenly a, a lifelong friend of mine and, and that you deserve an answer. It, it's not like that. I don't assume that when I, I subscribe to hundreds of people. Do you, I really don't expect any of them to respond to any of my comments. And if I message them on their inbox, I consider it I consider it a blessing if I ever do get a response from any of them. I mean, that's the way I look at it, and that's the way you should look at it too, so. All right, but don't take it personally. Um, but anyways, that being said, if you wanna check out my Facebook page, the Facebook page for this channel anyways, uh, it's facebook.com forward slash Just Incredible TV. Just search Just Incredible TV on Facebook, you'll find it. And uh, I'd be glad to have you on there. I'm a little, faster on responding there and quite often I respond to comments and photo comments and link comments uh, within the same day there. So definitely a lot easier to deal with than YouTube as well. Uh, it's just more convenient to answer, it's faster to answer um, and uh, I get my messages there a lot, uh, lot sooner as well. So feel free to like me on there and uh, hopefully I'll be able to uh, talk to some of you there. Look at all the van people here today. There's Couple of vans there, motorhome there. Nice uh, Chevy um, Class B right there. Vanamera, I like Vanameras, they're nice vans. Here it is from the rear, gothier.com. Oh, I got a parking spot right here. Oh, he's got a, a scan code on the back of his rig too to scan with your smartphone. Gothier.com. Scan your computer screens. There you go. So, looks like he uh, shipped it over from Europe to travel around North America. And I went to the website and you can see a map from Vancouver 
down the west coast all the way to the east coast of Canada. I love the plexiglass windows. I think I've seen this one uh, online, the interior. It used to be a garbage truck, it was converted. It's very cool. Uh, look at all the dead bugs. Solid. That's how all RVs should be made. justincredible.tv Stick up for freedom. Get your keep on rocking in the free world sticker now at justincredible.net